So, um, yeah, we'll just begin begin now. And um, you hopefully you found yourself a nice, comfortable place to sit, a place that uh, is a, a bit quiet, away from the Medin crowd, and that uh, you have um, sat in a comfortable position. Position that you can uh, feel at ease. And you don't feel you are in any particular discomfort. You can relax. Bringing your mind as well into this space. And knowing that you have nothing to do for the next hour, you can relax. Nothing to do, nowhere to go. Allowing yourself to relax. Allowing yourself to notice Become aware of what is around you. And what is inside you? Without wanting it to be any other way. Allowing yourself to relax.
nothing to do, nowhere to go. We slowly become aware, tuning into our, tuning into our little hearts, our forgotten little hearts, being pushed around all week. And just listening. Listening. And just allowing it to be. Allowing it to be the sensitive being that it is. Knowing that it is normal to have good and bad, good and bad feelings, feeling happy sometimes and happy sometimes. Allowing it all in, accepting it all. And you probably notice your mind going to this and that. It's tendency to run around, which it has been doing all week. But this is a time for yourself. So we bring it back. And hear ourselves.
And you can hear ourselves and say to ourselves, it's okay. I'm just human. Whatever it is, is okay. Bringing our mind back as it tends to do its usual thing. Bringing our mind back and learning to accept ourselves. Not manage ourselves, not boss ourselves, tell ourselves what to do. Letting that go. And knowing that it is all right to just feel. You can just um, stay with that feeling or you can, um, what we're doing today is uh, cultivating a sen- uh, uh, that same feeling of, of ease. And somehow connecting that to someone we don't know, which is most people on this planet, what we call the neutral person, someone who is uh, not particularly dear to us, not particularly exalted, not someone that brings us any tension that we have any sort of dislike towards. So this is easy because there are, it doesn't have to be a specific person, but for me it is just people walking down the road or us, there's a school next door that 
children and the teachers of the school. The neighbors. All of humanity that we are somehow connected to. So bring a sense of awareness for all of just one of these, these beings around us. Who we think are all right, but we don't know. Everybody has a problem. Even if you think that they seem all right and everything's working out in their life, it's not true. Because as long as you are unenlightened, the mind tortures you. Mind and the un so an unenlightened mind so all these beings whoever they are just like us. Get lost. Don't know what to do. Have no idea where true happiness lies. We're still they think they do, we all think we do the right thing, and yet, and yet it, it doesn't work out. So we connect to every person on this planet, every animal, every being. And we know how they feel. We open our hearts and allow ourselves to feel what others feel, what someone who we don't know, a nameless person,
we allow ourselves to feel as they feel. To know their hopes, their fears, their struggles. We know We allow ourselves to feel connected to know someone who we don't know. And we spread our awareness to encompass everyone, all these unknown people, beings, animals, so many beings. And we allow ourselves to feel what they feel. And in our minds, as we bring them into to our to our awareness, to our to our worlds, we say, "I hope you are well. May you have peace in your life." May you not be confused and suffer. May you look after yourself. Care for yourself, just as I care for you.
bringing our awareness to encompass that other person, other people, and to feel what they feel. Because we are just one of many. Just another human being like me. Noticing how they might feel. And wishing that they are at ease. That they are free from suffering. confusion, Perhaps you have your own way of relating, but using our, using our hearts to connect, because we are. We already are. Your mind has wandered away, bringing it back. In cultivating that wish for the well being of these people that we don't know.
bringing your mind back, back to what we're doing right now. Opening your heart and your mind to encompass those around us who we don't know. Knowing that they are just like us. Lost. Confused. Suffering. Not knowing where to find happiness, true happiness. We wish them well. Wish that they find peace in their hearts. Wish that they find the way the way to real peace, what we have been so fortunate to have in our lives. We wish that for the whole world to all these people his beings.
bringing our minds back when they wander, it wanders away. And for the last few minutes, perhaps bringing up some something that is difficult, someone that is difficult for us. Perhaps it's ourselves. And seeing if we can relate to that person as we have done to the neutral person, to the neutral people. Just like everyone else, that person or I am also unenlightened. Also, don't really know also get lost and confused. Get upset, get happy, just like them. Those who in our lives, ourselves, We have a hard time with, it's okay. We're all just really doing what we think we should do. not really knowing, trying so hard
but alas, not enlightened. Just human being. Trying our best. And we wish we see these difficult, so-called difficult people in our lives, ourselves, just like all human beings, just like those neutral people all in the same boat. Paddling around Sansara. Trying to get out. All of us especially bringing your mind to your own self and the ones close in our lives. Strangely enough, the ones who we have the most difficulty with. The ones who we love the most and get upset with the most. And we see them as just another human being. Trying to get on in life. Never quite making it. Okay, so when you're ready, you can slowly open your eyes. Maybe before you completely get lost in the world again, just reflect what happened. Just reflect, um, where did my mind go? What happened? What was good? What was bad? What was so-called bad? But just know what worked. 
how do I feel right now? How did I get there? What was skillful? And perhaps if you want to just uh, write it in the chat, you're welcome to. Um, just, just notice that in yourself, just reflect in yourself. What went on and what has happened? What have I learned? So just bringing that up in your mind. And yeah, type it in or Thank you. Kim says that was wonderfully helpful. Thank you. But yeah, it is good after meditation just to reflect um, rather than just get up and go, which we often do, go on to the next thing. But just spend a few minutes just for yourself to notice notice what was skillful, what happened during that session. What have I learned? How 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 did I get there? Um, not to say good or bad, but just yeah, just to just to be aware and to be, have, yeah, have, just to reflect, just to reflect. So Mukunds was quite tired, but he had a good rest time. Okay, so we will end there, and um, um, I think Manori is going to uh, uh, give a short, uh, uh, say a few things about Dana right now. Yes, you can continue to type in, or just reflect in your own mind, what whatever, whatever you has come up for you. Okay, thank you everybody and uh, I'll have a very good week and a very good weekend. Ah yes, today at uh, 3.30 3, 3, 3, 3 we'll be in Oxford at the Oxford Buddha Vihara. If you are in Oxford, please come along. <laughs> See real human beings, not squares in the box. Oh, yes. And tomorrow there is an online retreat um, by a Gaia house. So uh, that uh, the, that's with Venerable Chanda and the link you will find on the website. It's an all day online retreat and it's organized by Gaia house. It starts in the morning. So, um, yes, you're welcome to join that. And of course, there's Ajahn Ramali coming up and a whole lot more, which you can see on our website. Yeah. <laughs> Right, so over to over to um, Manori. Sad, 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 sad. Yeah, um, today's session, as you know, uh, as all the other sessions, um, uh, is um, offered on a donation basis voluntarily. And if you if you like to donate, um, you can go to the Anukampa website, and there is a donation link there. If you want to get more involved with the Anukampa project, you can do that by um, emailing team at Anukampa project dot org. Um, there, where you can bring Adana uh, Womford here for the venerables. Um, and uh, because they are Bikunis, they don't uh, they don't cook here. And uh, also, if you are living far away, you can um, order uh, supermarket deliveries. Um, if you want to get involved in any other ways, there are um, so much of maintenance work in the Vihara, as you can imagine. So we've got different um, WhatsApp groups where, if you would like, you can. Um, you can join as well. So if you like to get more involved or volunteer at any capacity, 
you can you can email the team at anukampaproject.org and they will contact you and guide you from there. Uh, and as Venerable Upeka said, um, the events, there are many events today afternoon and uh, tomorrow there is a Zoom uh, event and then Ajahn Ramali's um, talks are there and all the details are in our Facebook and also in the website. Um, please look at them and there's posters as well. Please pass it to your like-minded friends as well. Thank you. Yes, thank you everybody. Thank you, Manori. Uh, uh. <gasps>